Good day, everybody. It is day 110. I should turn that down. Hey, everybody. Welcome to day 110 of Level Grinding. Today, I am busy working on putting together my cupcakes for my birthday party tomorrow. I'm going to pick up Robo, and I'm going to try and get some work done. Maybe. It just took me a while to clean up the kitchen because I've had quite a number of days of dirty dishes. Hashtag, I've not been washing my rice bowl. So, yeah, lots of work to do. So, my first batch of muffins are in the oven. Oh, and they're rising a little bit. Come on, guys. You can't. What the? Ugh. So the fact that they're rising is actually a, a really good thing. Um, I forgot to put the baking soda in my recipe. Uh, I, I was making two batches back to back because I only have one muffin tin. And so apparently I forgot the baking soda and I did not realize that until I moved on to my vanilla cupcake recipe. Thankfully this is the first one that's been mixed up so I've added the baking soda to the other one. Um, I'm going to finish baking these but I have a feeling they're going to turn out like hockey pucks. My next batch is mixing, and these are the state of my other ones. They had puffed up really nice, but now they are sinking. Oy vey, I have a feeling I need to remake these. All right, batch two. And already, I think these are going to come out better than the other ones, because they actually have all the ingredients. So this is an example of what my other ones look like. I took it out of its package a little bit. It's got a dent in the middle. It is spongy. Oh look, it has a little face. It's winking at me like it knows that it's a bad cupcake. Yeah, Rachel, you should have made me do it right way first. Whatever. Now the real test as to whether or not I can keep these, which I don't think I will, is whether or not I can eat it. Well, it's not entirely terrible, but it's a bit like eating a gumball. All right, that's it. Time to get this stuff cleaned up. Because I am going to start over. And the reason why, well, not only did I forget baking soda, I also forgot vanilla. I remembered that at the last minute while I was making my other batch, so, oh my goodness. It explains why my cupcakes didn't quite taste right when I tasted the batter. And it also explains why they didn't bubble up like they normally do when I'm whipping them. No baking soda and no vanilla. Gee, wow. So thankfully, this first, the second batch is going to be okay. I'm going to remake the first batch, and hopefully I have enough time to do that before i got to go leave for the airport. All right, new batch out of the oven. These look considerably better. They look good. There's no holes in the bottom. Hooray. And the next batch is in, and I'm going to take a break. Well, clean up all the dishes first, then take a break. So my last batch of cupcakes is just about ready to come out, and I'm in the process of doing some more with my social media posts for Renegade. I'm trying to solve this poll question. I feel like I might be able to. A bunch of people online have suggested using different apps uh, to get around the fact that Facebook only limits a poll to two options on a page. Um, so... Yeah, I'm going to pursue this for a little bit longer. Um, I've got about a half hour before I need to leave to go get Robo. Yay! All right, poll update. It looks like you can do multiple polls if you pay for them. Good one, Facebook. Um, at this point, I can't figure out how to do that. Um, so I'm going to see, like, I can't figure out, like, where's the upgrade button. I guess it's somewhere, but whatever. At this point, I don't want to pay for it. It's eight bucks a month, um, and I've got other things I need to pay eight bucks a month for right now for my business, so I'm going to put that on hold for right now, and then I'm going to see if I can reword some of these so that they are two question polls um, and go from there. But now it's getting to be the time where I need to go take the dog out and go start cleaning off the car because it's still covered in snow from yesterday. All right, time to pick up Robo. He should be here any second because the train just arrived in the terminal. Oh no! I'm blocked! I 
Yay, Robo's home. He can save me. Or save the crowd. Get, get into your superhero outfit, Robo. Single push. And I can get mine stuck with a single push. Is that gonna get through there? Yeah, yeah. Just don't hit the ground. Oh, so I got Robo from the airport and we are busy shopping for the last little bits that we need for my party. Hope you all got a nice good look at my teeth. Um, yeah, so we'll be heading home and then I'm gonna finish all of my cupcakes because I still got two more batches to make. Cupcakes! All right, so we are home. We are in the biz, uh, biz blah, 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 in the business, in the process of making supper. My whole my whole brain is shot. I need to eat. <laughs> so after we finish eating, I'm going to start working on my cupcakes. Get the last two batches done, and hopefully not stay up until like 10 o'clock tonight because I'm really tired. Um, if there's been one thing that has come up this week that I have become very very much aware of, it is just how bad my time management skills actually are. Um, I do, it's the reason why I have systems in place, it's the reason why I have such a uh, regimented like morning routine, why I have a pretty rigid work schedule, why I try and keep boundaries in my life. Um, the problem that I have realized is that I don't consider myself as a valuable reason to keep those things in place when it's just me. With Robo being gone for this entire week, I was reminded of just how crappy I took care of myself when I lived by myself before I got married. Um, because all of my work habits, all of my life habits immediately after seven years reverted back to how I used to treat myself. I would work late. I would sleep late. I would not pay attention to what I was eating. I would not pay attention to when I was eating. I wouldn't even have the time to clean up the house around me. And I realized that that is a very terrible way to live. If you guys are living that way, trust me, you don't want to, you don't need to. And once you once you know the benefits of systems, you'll not want to go back. And that's definitely where I'm at this week. I know the benefits of my system. I don't want to go back. And having this week where it felt like everything was coming apart at the seams has been a really good reminder for me to keep pushing for that and to keep remembering to hold on to the routines that I have because they are honestly what make it possible for me to do all the things that I'm supposed to do and that I want to do uh, both in my day-to-day but also in my life. So I'm going to close out this video because I need to eat. I have a lot of work I still need to do. And yeah, I love you all, but I don't have time to hold a camera at the same time. So I will see you all on Tuesday. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.